the present video uh, considers the two gate problems uh, in the area of uh, PN junction and uh, these two gate problems are of uh, the year 2011 and the other problem is of 2002. Since they are the related problems they have been taken together here and uh, both these problems are uh, based on the forward biased uh, PN junction and uh, the dependence of forward uh, voltage across the PN junction with temperature temperature is to be evaluated in uh, both the cases uh, the nature of problems is similar so we have considered them together so this is a problem of uh, gate 2011 we will read out the problem a silicon PN junction is forward biased with a constant current at a room temperature when the temperature is increased by 10 degrees the forward voltage across the PN junction is increases by 60 millivolts decreases by 60 millivolts increases by 25 millivolts and decreases by 25 millivolts these are the four options so we have to see which is the right option so uh, for the case of a forward bias junction uh, the junction vol voltage is basically the barrier voltage and this barrier voltage does not uh, much depend upon the forward bias it remains same for most of the forward bias values but it depends upon the temperature so and the temperature uh, dependence uh, of this voltage is it decreases uh, with 2.5 millivolts per degree rise in temperature that means when there is an increase of temperature by 2.1 degrees uh, the rise is about 2.5 millivolts so we can write here that dv by dv dt change of the uh, voltage uh, with temperature is minus 2.5 millivolts per degree centigrade now for 10 degrees centigrade uh, in this uh, problem there is a uh, temperature change of 10 degrees so for 10 degrees rise this should be minus 2.5 into 10 this should be minus 25 millivolts so minus 25 so uh, since this is a temperature uh, this is a decrease in voltage so it should be decreased by 25 millivolts so option B uh, option D is the correct choice in this uh, problem now uh, if we see uh, the problem of uh, gate 2002 it is also a very similar uh, problem we will read out here in the figure the silicon diode is carrying a constant current of 1 milliampere when the temperature of the diode is 20 degree centigrade VD is uh, found to be 700 millivolts and if temperature rises to 40 degrees VD approximately becomes equal to that we have to find there are four options so we know uh, initially it is given here that at 20 degrees uh, the diode voltage is 0.7 volts or we can say it's at 700 millivolts and temperature is increased from 20 to 40 degrees that means increases by 20 degrees so for 20 degrees uh, we can find the decrease in voltage so 20 into minus 2.5 millivolts per degree centigrade so it will be minus 50 millivolts uh, but what we observe in these options is uh, if I subtract uh, from 700 millivolts the uh, 50 millivolts uh, no option uh, matches here so as we have said that uh, this uh, voltage decrease could be taken as either as 2.5 millivolts or could be taken as 2 millivolts per degree centigrade uh, rise in temperature so here we will take this voltage uh, 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 decrease as uh, uh, minus 2 millivolt per degree centigrade so we get 20 into minus 2 millivolt per degree centigrade up to 40 millivolts and it is 40 millivolts we subtract this 40 millivolts from uh, 700 uh, millivolts we get 660 millivolts so here the option B is the correct choice so we have taken here the 2 millivolts uh, decrease uh, per degree centigrade so uh, depending upon the problem uh, you can select either 2 or 2.5 millivolts and uh, both is the right voltage since uh, 
very very marginal difference depending upon the problem you can select any value here thank you